Welcome to Field to Fork Cooking with Abby J. Today's program is brought to you in part by Ingalls Supermarkets and the Ingalls Table. Now here's chef and host of the show, Abby J, to introduce her special guest for today's show. Welcome, I'm Abby J, and look at this. It's fall, y'all, and I'm here with Drew Eccles. Welcome, Drew. Hey, Abby J. I appreciate being able to be out here this morning. Can you say booyah? Booyah. We're in the pumpkin patch. We are in the pumpkin patch, and this is a wonderful pumpkin patch. And guess what, folks? This is in Batesville, Georgia. And, Drew, do you think we're going to give them something to, or a pumpkin to talk about? I think we're going to give them a lot of pumpkins to talk about. We've got 25 acres of pumpkins here in Batesville this year. Can't imagine how much work and time and labor it took. How did it get started? Well, as most of you know, we uh, we didn't have the greatest peach crop this year. We got uh, kind of hammered by a late freeze. So um, we've done awfully well for the past few years in the pumpkin business, and we decided we needed to expand production, uh, kind of swing for the fence, so to speak. Uh, my father-in-law has kind of worked out a land deal with me, a land lease with me up here in Batesville, and um, it's kind of fun, really. We're just expanding production and trying something new, and these cool mountain nights have sure, sure – uh, done well for these pumpkins there's well, a lot i, th I think um in a, just being innovative and changing and doing different things and farming your techniques and all you have to think outside the box right absolutely i i tell people all the time you got to be able to pivot uh on april 22nd that was a pretty bad deal we lost a lot of peaches but um we're gonna be resilient this year um and luckily i think the economy is good i think people want pumpkins they're gonna they're looking forward to a big fall so we're excited to give them the pumpkins i think it's a great time of year because everybody wants to get outside covid has kept so many people indoors and folks uh drew is going to set you up so how many varieties do you have we actually grow about 30 different varieties of pumpkins we've got four varieties up here in batesville but 30 varieties overall over the whole farm from batesville to homer so what are, you know, you've got the edible pumpkins and then, then you've got the ones for jack-o'-lanterns. Can you talk to us about that? Well, I would say if anybody could make a jack-o'-lantern taste good, it would probably be you, Abby J. But uh, with enough cinnamon and enough sugar, <laughs> I think we could do that. But there are varieties that are specific uh, for cooking. It's a little small pie pumpkin. They're about this big. Um, then there's some other stuff. Um that they're beige in color, kind of like the old timey Connecticut pumpkin, Connecticut field pumpkin. They're, they look a lot like a butternut squash uh, as far as color goes, but then um, they're shaped like a pumpkin. Those cook real well. We have those growing on different farms. Um, we've got the little pie pumpkin growing up here at Batesville as well. Just uh, a lot of different varieties. I would encourage people to, uh, to branch out and try one of those pumpkin recipes this fall. So the pumpkin season starts, Drew, from September and goes until November, right? Yeah, the bulk of them are actually sold about, the, you know, the three or four weeks in October. Um, we do have a uh, really, really strong sales, though, uh, from about mid-September until the end of October. But it's surprising how many people are still cooking with pumpkins and, and decorating with pumpkins even until Thanksgiving. Do you grow any of the other squashes? I mean, uh, the acorn squash and uh, different varieties of that. Yeah, we uh, we grow acorn. We do grow a few uh, spaghetti squash. We grow some um, butternut, like I said earlier. Um, just a big variety. And um, and they do. They cook up really well. Even I can cook, you know. You oh, imagine that. I bet you can cook. I bet you you have a good time at Jaymore. And there's a lot of events that you center around your farm. What are some of the upcoming events, Drew? We're uh, just a couple weeks away on September 11th, kicking off our Harvest Festival and corn maize season. So we're excited about that. And I think you're going to see a lot of that. I like to plug all of our other uh, farms around the state as well because they buy a lot of pumpkins from us. So, you know, folks are going to be able to, there's so many of us that, that you're not going to have to travel far. So I just encourage people to get out on farms this fall and go get those pumpkin or corn maze experiences or flowers or fishing, all those different things that we offer here in Georgia. Go visit them. Absolutely. And you have a date night, right? 
Yeah, we got date night. I don't know, you know, we, I don't know if we need to have that on camera or not. No, I'm just kidding. It's, you're, he, I got him blushing. I got you. Your face is turning red. I knew I would do it. We're uh, now date night has turned into a, a really cool event for us at the farm. It's just a night where we offer the corn maze and hay rides and all the activities to adults only. And we have a meal. We have entertainment. Uh, our Facebook page and Instagram page is full of all the information. Um, I think adults from, you know, 25 to 70 show up at these things, and they just have a good time. Oh, it's a fun night. It's a fun night. I've heard so much about it. We're going to try to get down there. You know, we're busy with fly fishing during that time of year, but, you know, I've got good help. I'm blessed to have the help. I mean, I mean, you've probably been blessed to have good help too, right? Absolutely. We've got a phenomenal farm crew that we're just really, really proud of, and then all of our staff at the market. Uh, they've done a really good job under difficult cir circumstances for the past year or so. So we're just proud of them, and, and they really get the job done. Well, I want to see you out there on date night. You need to be the first one on the dance floor, and you need to have these pumpkins in your hands saying, giving everyone a pumpkin to talk about. Well, I, I told you there's going to be some entertainment there. I didn't tell you what kind of entertainment is going to be there, but I told you there'd be some entertainment. So we've got a, a professional, Chad Gailey, uh, is coming in October, uh, one of the weekends at the Corn Maze, and he's going to be putting on those carving demonstrations. He does all those really cool um, carvings and pumpkins. Mine are pretty much, they look like kindergartners with the triangle eyes and that sort of thing. But hey, this guy, he, he, he makes it a little like Picasso. Tell the audience exactly where they can find uh, you. You've got two locations, right? Yeah, we're at the 35 mile marker on Highway uh, 365, just north of Gainesville. And uh, then we also have our um, store down at Commerce. Um, the farm is at Alto, the, uh, the store at Commerce. They've got a lot to offer too if you just need a quick bite. Uh, or grab some a grab and go. So we got a lot of cool things going on. The corn maze is going to be open from September 11th until the end of October. So we got a big big fall coming up. Well, that's awesome. So you guys get out, do something fun. Remember Jay Moore. Happy fall and booyah! Don't go away. More field of fork cooking with Abby J and her guest. We'll be right back. Here at Ingalls, we know that you're probably cooking from home a little more than usual these days. So we have assembled an amazing collection of easy-to-prepare recipes. Join us at the Ingalls table at ingalls-markets.com. Welcome back to Field of Fork, and we just got back looking at all those beautiful pumpkins. And today, I don't have one guest. I got two guests from the Ingalls table. And the first guest of mine is Smoking Joe. You've been here before. I'm always happy to be here. Are you Absolutely. kidding me? It's the best time ever. And I know we're going to take those pumpkins and you yeah. develop some kind of recipe with those, right? Yeah, it's kind of a hybrid of something I've found and, and done before. So what we're going to do is a pumpkin recipe today mm -hmm. with grilled Springer Mountain Farms chicken thighs, okay? Yeah. We're going to do a pumpkin parmesan cream sauce. That sounds amazing. Mushroom. So what I've yes. got is a cast iron skillet. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take uh, some sliced mushrooms. We're going to cook those with some olive oil then throw in some fresh rosemary and a little salt and pepper. Once those are done, we're going to pull those to the side. In the same pan, we're doing pumpkin puree, almond milk, some butter, mix that really well. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna throw some Parmesan cheese in there and make mm -hmm. it cheesy. Then we'll take our chicken that I've already grilled on the char grill. We're gonna put that right on top and garnish it. And well, you know, you, this you make be it awesome. sound so delicious. And you know, folks, it's the fall evenings, the cooler nights. And that's when we can really savor into some of these yeah. fall flavors. So I'm so excited to see well, that. Well, pumpkin is something, you know, mm -hmm. It's a lot of people are scared to cook with, but I think it's a ton of fun. And you can follow this recipe. You can find it on the ingles-markets.com uh, under recipes, or Abby J may share it as well on Field mm -hmm. of the Fork. But uh, the other thing is it's super quick, really easy. So fire up your grill. It doesn't matter what the temperature is outside. Fire up the grill. Yeah, right. You mm -hmm. can also do these in the oven, of course. Put your chicken on and then go to the stove. And by the time the chicken's done, your sauce will be ready to go. Absolutely. Let's and go to the and stove. it's also, you know, uh, for leftovers, if you want to make even more than this, you have leftovers. So Absolutely. it's always good to make ahead uh, meals for people that are so busy. So it's already smelling delicious. So All right. let's, well, let's, let's go get to the started. Stove. Yep. We'll be right back. Don't go away. 
More Field of Fork cooking with Abby J and her guest. We'll be right back. At Ingalls, we have a very special family. A family of farmers, ranchers, and dairymen. Clerks, butchers, and bakers. Deli workers, pharmacists, and florists. We work hard every day to bring you the very best. And we'll continue to wake up every morning and work as hard as you do. This is our town, and we built this community together. Ingalls, your neighbor for over 50 years. We're back. It's Smoking Joe. Yep. That We're ready looks to plate this so up. Good. Listen, this pumpkin parmesan uh, sauce, I didn't use cream. A lot of, I didn't say cream sauce, but there's no cream in it. I actually used almond milk and some Parmesan cheese in there and some pumpkin, a little salt and pepper. That's all it wow. is. Then these that... mushrooms are amazing. So what we're gonna mm. do is we're gonna take our chicken that has come off of the grill. We're gonna put it right onto here, just like so. Just like this, right into that. Now you can use chicken breast, chicken. These are chicken thighs. They have Springer so Mountain much Farms. flavor. I love I the thighs. I love the thighs as well. Mm. And then what I did mm. is I saved out some of my mushrooms because mm -hmm. I like to garnish around the top with those mm -hmm. you can mix them all in if you'd like but we're going to put some of these around just like so and that rosemary really brings oh, out that can you smell fall it? flavor i mean when yeah. it was on the stove and you guys saw that cooking it just automatically just starts uh the aromatics of that is right and then last we we'll take some of this laurel Lynn parmesan cheese we're going to sprinkle right over the top and, and what an amazing dish for Look at for week, really yeah. any week, but it's super any impressive, weeknight. super easy too. So mm -hmm. when you have fall guests coming over for an event or any time of year, really, I mean, you can mm -hmm. find pumpkin in the Ingles in the in the uh, baking department, but you make sure you don't get pie filling; you get pureed pumpkin. So that's on the recipe as well. But okay, that folks. is it: grilled chicken with a pumpkin parmesan sauce. And Thank you, Joe. And guess oh, what? Yeah. We've got one more. Ingles Celebrity Chef coming up. So we'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm Caitlin Baker and I'm inviting you to join me this summer on the Ingles Down Home Tour. We're bringing back the music and we want you at the party. I'm heading to a town near you and I can't wait to see you. I've been hard at work with some great new material that I know will get you up off your seat. Check out ingles-markets.com for dates and locations. I'll see you out on the Ingles Down Home Tour. Welcome back to Field of Fork, and I'm so excited to have my other celebrity chef for Ingalls Markets, Caitlin Baker. Hey, welcome, Caitlin. Thank you for having me. Oh, you are so welcome, and tell the audience, you're not only an Ingalls celebrity chef, tell them a little bit about you. Oh, well, here's the thing. I grew up just constantly being surrounded by music, and so... That's what I do for a living. I go out and play country music, and so it's a pretty, pretty awesome thing. She played that down, y'all. She's a Nashville <laughs> star, oh, a country music you. star. She's got. A, you're going to hear one of her songs at the end of this show called "Blackbird." I love that song. And what inspired you to do "Blackbird"? Well, you know, I had a really great friend of mine. Um, it's probably been close to I want to say four or five years now. Um, he passed away in an accident on New Year's Eve. And so we always called him Blackbird. It was kind of mm. like our thing. So, you know, after all of that kind of happened, I took some mom, like some time and I was like, you know what? I want to write a song that's inspirational, something that I feel like he would really love and, and would, would love <laughs> to play, you know? So yeah. that's exactly what we did. And mm -hmm. um, I put out a project called Blackbird and um, a hot sauce called Blackbird, which was really cool. So um, it's just a, a fun way really for us to honor him and keep his name and his memory That's alive. That's awesome, yeah. Caitlin. And you know, you, you've you got other songs that I love and, and you've been on the Down Home Tour for yeah, Eagles. It's You're been doing so a, much fun, girl. It's yeah. been so fun. Yes, <laughs> and, and you know, I just wanted you so much to come down here yeah. and, and share a little bit about what oh you do gosh. in the kitchen. And we're yeah. doing fall dishes and you've got something here that we're gonna do to yes. pair with Joe, Smoking Joe's dish. Which looks uh, incredible. It's right. So, so tell us what you're doing today. Yeah, well, we have some fresh apples, which is just amazing. We've got some pecans, some cranberries, mm -hmm. some onion, which 
Listen, I have a slice of onion with everything every day. Oh, it's I, I have thing. jalapenos. It's my thing. I love it. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to start out. We have some honey right here. Right. We're going to mm -hmm. start it with our, our dressing. We're going to make it right now. Honey's good with everything, oh, you know. I love honey. Yeah. It's a staple. You got to have it. Yeah. All right. Let's get the rest of that out there. We can't. We can't miss all that goodness. All right. And then we have. We got some mayonnaise. You can use whatever you want. This is Duke's. Mm -hmm. I love me some Duke's mayonnaise. My favorite. Yeah, that's always good. Yes. We also got us some apple cider vinegar, okay. which is also a staple in my fridge. I always have apple cider vinegar in there. It's always good to make your own vinaigrette or dressing. Yeah. It always makes everything taste amazing. It does. It definitely does. Yeah. We got some Dijon mustard. And then we also have some salt and pepper. Mm. So we're going to salt and pepper this. And you know what? I feel like with fall and really just the holidays in general, you spend a lot of time like mm. eating a lot of things. It's probably, mm -hmm. you know, might put a little little weight on you. So this is a good little just reset, just something that's fresh. And right. it's amazing. I got goat cheese over there, which Smells is awesome. one of my favorite things ever. I love goat cheese. So I'm gonna help you with this. Yeah, go for so, it, girl. So uh, what do you do next? Because I can help you with this. You can just start tossing everything so in there. So we got some cranberries. Do you put the whole thing or just a few? Or We're just kind of eyeball it, maybe a little bit more in there. Okay. If you like more cranberries, you can throw them in there. I love cranberries. And then we have, we've got apples. These are the yeah, Blue Ridge apples. apples. Yeah, so you can get those at your local Eagles markets. And what else? You go ahead. I'm not, yeah, I'm not trying to take no, over girl. your recipe. Listen. <laughs> Put this goat cheese in there, this goat cheese. She loves good. goat cheese. <laughs> I got goats at my house, and my, I uh -huh. feel like I'm going to attempt at some mm -hmm. point, at some point, I'm going to try to make me some goat milk soap. I want to so. come visit the farm. <laughs> I, I know John, my husband, doesn't want me to get goats here. I've got oh, enough he fish. And the fish, yeah. you know, it's COVID-free. Yeah. You're not going to catch COVID from my fish. <laughs> that is true. That is true. All right. Now we got some onions we're going to throw in here. And it's nice to have animals run. on the farm, though. Oh, we absolutely. Just, it, there's never a dull moment. <laughs> right. There's always work to do, though, on the farm. I mean, yeah. it gives you a lot of chores. And right. we do a lot of farming, like vegetables and things like that here. Right. All right. Let's actually, let's go ahead and toss some of this fresh in here. I'm only mm. going to put a little bit. I'm the type of person I would rather put, here. you know, kind of. Yeah, I'll be your tosser. Go for it, girl. Yeah, here we go. We're I got goat toss. cheese all over my face. <laughs> right, right. You go for it. All right. It's time. It's time for the vinaigrette. Let's do it. This Look is going to be really great with his pumpkin parmesan chicken oh, thighs. Oh, yeah. It's going to be amazing. And I've got one more recipe that I'm going to do, Ooh. and this is going to be a sweet recipe, yeah. and we're going to use some more. Put some more goat cheese. Yeah, there. there you go. All right. Can't get, get enough of that, of can it. you? Oh, I love me some goat cheese, girl. All right. You gotta have it. All right, a little a bit more cranberry. That looks amazing. Look at that. And spinach. I love spinach, too. Okay, okay so yeah. we're going to let this sit for a bit, and yeah. I'm going to get the dessert going, and we'll be right back. Don't go away. More Field of Fork cooking with Abby J and her guest. We'll be right back. In small towns like Hayesville, North Carolina, Toccoa, Georgia, and Oak Ridge, Tennessee, big careers starting and staying at home may seem unlikely. But at Ingalls, we promote from within, building a community as well as a business. Our next executive might have helped you carry out your groceries today. We sure hope so. Ingalls, your neighbor for over 50 years. Welcome back, and now we're gonna make the dessert. I know you've been waiting on this. I'm so excited. Me too. <laughs> Smoking Joe, we went to South Georgia and got the best pecans, and this is Pecan Nation. They've got five different varieties, and this is a healthy snack, but I created a recipe. This is my apple pie with cinnamon and caramel mm -hmm. in a pretty glass, and you know oh. you eat with your eyes, so yeah. let's get started. What you do right. is you wanna do the glasses like this, this is just caramel icing, mm. That's amazing. and you do this. You could also freeze these glasses, and it's cold. It'll keep your ice cream cold. Oh, wow. Uh, and then I got vanilla bean ice cream. So you take this, like so. I'm gonna fill that up. Mm -hmm. 
probably need a different ice cream. I try to avoid getting ice cream at our house because it's that whole tub is gone in like well, two yeah. minutes. <laughs> and so exactly. <laughs> so we want to fill it up like this. Oh yeah. And there we so go. Good. Make sure you get enough ice cream in there, right? Yeah. Who doesn't like ice cream? Ingles best. Ingles, this is Ingles best. And talk about the table. We've got the Ingles Table magazine. You can find our recipes and more, right, Joe? Yeah, absolutely. At every Ingles Deli department, you can find these. This is a free publication. And I tell you, I'm honored to be a part of it, as we all are. Yes, I am so happy to be part of this. And I really uh, want to finish this yeah, little dessert here. Yeah. And what you want to do is take these Gala apples. They're Blue Ridge apples. Look for them at your local Ingles this uh, fall season. This is like apple pie. Mm -hmm. wow. and, and the presentation is everything. Then we take the cinnamon. You could use the gingerbread mm -hmm. oh, yeah, or the, they, they've got maple crumbles as well. But I like the cinnamon on this. And looks so good. you want to also. Are we going to drip top, in more? I we got to say, <laughs> you can't forget the extra. There we go. There. And one last thing is my chocolate mm. mint. Just a chocolate mint on there. Oh, wow. wow that's Look beautiful. That. You do eat with your eyes, but I don't know how long I could eat with my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you exactly. You probably even, if you so, were to serve them immediately, you could even warm that. Look at that. Up. So, oh, with this, beautiful. I think we, we have, absolutely. Yay! Yay! Cheers. <laughs> we're gonna end the show with Caitlin performing Blackbird. I'm Yay! so excited for you. And thank you so much for thank coming down for here. Me. It's been a while, and I feel like I've always known you, but I know. <laughs> uh, you'll have to come back and always smoking Joe. I'm here all the time. Anytime <laughs> I can get here, I like being with you here at Black Hawk Fly Fishing and Field to Fork and What's in Season and the Ingles Table. I Absolutely. love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Come from.